What is going on YouTube? Magic is awesome when we're here back again with another video. Today's video is going to be a deck review of the B Casino playing cards. Let's get into it. So, quickly on the box, it's just almost a regular B um, deck, except we got, yep, yeah, we got everything the same on the top, the bottom, the side. The only difference is going to be on the back. It has an open back that has some casino information and an example of what the cards look like. It's actually open so you can move the cards up here. This is good. Uh, I've actually seen a couple of magic tricks being used with a levitation effect by just pushing on the back of the deck it will bring a card up. So that's cool I guess and um, other than that it's the same. So uh, I'm going to be doing a little bit of comparisons between the normal bees and the casino. So let's actually open these cards up right now and let's pull them out. Okay so in this deck, I was actually very surprised to see that these corners were not actually cut. On the casino ones, they're usually cut so you know not, so the casino knows that they've already been used. But on these, the reason why I actually bought them was because they weren't cut. Um, also, the first thing you can probably tell is they have uh, pretty thick borders on the side here. Um, so, you know, when you fan, it's kind of hard to see the actual design. It's almost just a white fan, which isn't too bad, but, uh, you know, it, it, it is noticeable. On the back, you have the normal B design, but it does have a casino logo right here um, on the top and uh, bottom of the card. These are reversible, so you don't have to worry about that. And uh, also, let's now, let's look at the face. I will talk about the finish on them after we talk about the design. So this deck actually came with a, um, uh, looks like a barcode um, card, but it actually, it is blank. So maybe you could do something with that, maybe a gimmick or something. Put that right off to the side. And then let's go to the top of the card. It's another um, barcode, except this one actually has a back, <coughs> excuse me, this one actually has a back design on it. So maybe you could do something with that. Uh, also, now let's move on to the Jokers. These are identical Jokers, which make it really cool for um, uh, some card tricks that need identical Jokers. And they're just a normal B, which is which is cool. I like them. They're simple, um, cool to look at, nice design. Um, and then let's move on to the Ace of Spades, the one that we all love. This is uh, just a normal B uh, Ace of Spades. I'm going to actually get the Ace of Spades out of the B deck, so excuse me while I do that. Let's look at this real quick. Let's try to find this Ace of Spades real quick here. Sorry about this. Actually, sorry, I haven't looked at this B deck in a while. It is different. Obviously, you can tell that the um, B, this one is the normal B. This is the casino one. This one is a lot nicer and uh, really, I actually really like this one. This one very simple because you know people that play in casinos don't care what they look like this one um, is just a simple card but it gets the point across this is the ace of spades um, says the casino in the middle and uh, that's basically it let's talk about the court cards now okay I'm gonna compare a couple court cards to their uh, the actual B so let's take out the Queen of Hearts and the Queen of Hearts out of this deck there's the Queen of Diamonds there's the Queen of Hearts Okay, so also what I forgot to mention is the casino ones are actually Jumbo Pip, which is um, not so great for Magic, but it still can, uh, you can still work with them, but it's not the best. Also, the colors on this one are a lot darker red, if you can tell. Um, the heart is a lot more vibrant on the regular B, um, and then the pips, obviously. But the court cards seem to be identical in the way they look, so, um, meaning the actual faces of the court cards, those seem to be identical. So let's look at another one, let's look at the King of Spades. Let's get the King of Spades out of this deck. These are all in order when I got them, which was kind of surprising, think, meaning, I mean, uh, realizing that they've already been used. Let's get the King of Spades out. If I can find it, here it is, the first card in the deck. So it's pretty much um, what I have to say about the other ones. Same exact faces. Uh, the blacks look, the blacks do look the same. So obviously the pip on the casino ones are bigger, like I mentioned before. Okay, now let's talk about the big feature, the way they handle. 
Let me get this deck back together here. So, I was actually very surprised when I first got fan these cards. They actually felt really, really nice in the hands. Um, the first thing I noticed were they were kind of soft, uh, meaning the finish was kind of soft, and uh, they are really smooth. Uh, flourishes I could do really easily. Um, except I have to... I have to note that, honestly, the cards, they're a little thick, and uh, they feel a little bit rigid. Although the finish is soft, the cards are rigid. I don't want you guys to get confused on that. The finish um, is soft, the cards are rigid. So, it, that will just probably take some getting used to, because they only use these for a couple hands, and then they um, get rid of them. So, all in all, very smooth deck, um, and it will get smoother with more use. That's all I have to say about the casino decks. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button down below and uh, let me know. And honestly, you can't beat the price for these. This was only a dollar uh, at the casino. So you can, get, you can get these in big packs in bulk on uh, the internet. Uh, just search on the internet for casino cards. They should all be about the same. I think B has a sponsorship or a supply with the casinos. That's basically all I have to talk about. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like I said, hit that like button down below, and I will see you next time. This is Magic is Awesome 111. Check it out. Peace out, guys.